Wait, okay. I was waiting for the scene to change. <laughs> so now we have Ajama versus Zero T for winners. And now we're starting off with some nice back and forth here. Zero T, again, being pretty good on survival. Just uh, playing right in the face of Ajamba's crazy APM. And Ajamba just continuing on with that T-spin foresight. Building a floating T-spin at the top. That was so greedy, though. It looks like maybe he's underestimating Zero T. Because that was super dangerous for him. He almost just barely, uh, barely got out. And it looks like he probably won't be making the same mistake again. And Ajamba takes the win. It's actually quite the miracle how he was able to even get out of that one in the first. <laughs> but now we have Zero T starting off with a miss drop here. So he's going to have to try and dig through that. But he has a lot of clean garbage to work with. So, uh, Ajamba's definitely going to be put under some pressure. And also, Ajamba wasted a lot of time digging through his own misdrops there. But Ajamba's pretty good on, uh, on fixing his misdrops. Meanwhile, Zero T uh, just getting spiked completely out and doesn't have any way to address such high APM. So now, Zero T just trying to keep his garbage holes open. But... With uh, with how fast the garbage is coming in from a Jamba, it's pretty difficult. Now, just trying to uh, trying to find a way out uses his eyepiece though. That kind of separates the left side of his stack, and it causes a Jamba to be able to take a nice quick match. And so now, a Jamba looks to be up stacking here. He has so much potential APM to be dug through. Just having his APM hit 150 at peak. And now, looks like Zero T just trying to fight back a bit. He looks to have some stack to dig through. He could potentially have some good APM here. He does combo through it. So now we have some exchange going on between uh, a lot of their garbage. Ajamba going for a nice T-spin triple. Again, digs down, combos into another C-spin. Another T-spin triple into T-spin double. And then off of that, takes the win. And now, Zero T has such a big well to work with. He's gonna try and find a solution off of this. Just building up another. And he looks to be up stacking and trying to take this opportunity to find the win on Ajamba. But Ajamba just mowing through that garbage so fast. Miss dropping, but turning that into a T-spin single. Not the cleanest of, uh, of solutions, but the miss drop was pretty bad, so it did let him, t uh, let him get out of that and turn the match around against Zero T. So now Zero T is the one under pressure. Just trying to get down. And now Ajamba's got some kind of messy garbage to work with. Zero T is trying to put on the pressure here, trying to keep on uh, sending more attacks to secure his win. But Ajamba's being so good on downstacking here, just barely cancelling with a Tetris! Wow, this is crazy survival! Just getting a T-spin double there, forecasting another T-spin. And he's completely out of that! And it looks like Zero-T, despite putting on so much pressure, uh, when, when Ajamba had all odds against him at the very top of his board, and with such messy garbage, he was still able to get out with that final cancel, but it looks like a Java now messing up that T-spin triple. That overhang looks a little bit too low, buddy. But either way, he does combo into it uh, still and keeps his APM in a nice spot. Put some pressure onto Zero T. And Zero T just trying to stay alive here, keeping it pretty low on his board. He looks to be waiting for an opportunity when he can spike a Jamba up in order to uh, in order to really try and capitalize. Because for now, it's pretty. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's aware that any garbage that he sends to a Jamba side will just be coming right back at him if it's clean. And so it looks like zero T. Trying to find a down stack here. This may be the spike that he needs because Ajamba going for a super greedy C-spin looks to have no respect at all for Zero T. <laughs> Just sitting there on that uh, on that C-spin. 
and he still is able to get the win. Wait! Okay, nope, nope, that's the win. 6-0 currently for, uh, for a Jamba. And now, Zero T building up a DT cannon, but even, even when he's building a DT cannon, he doesn't have any chance to, uh, to really breathe there, because by the time he finished his DT cannon off, uh, he had half of his board in lines. So now, we see a Jamba, just, again, downstacking, clearing through all the garbage like it's nothing, so effortlessly. And meanwhile, Zero T, uh, looks to be putting a lot more effort into trying to figure out how to, <laughs> how to deal with that mist drop there. But he does deal with it, and now he's in a position to attack more. Builds a floating T-spin double too. Now, also, uh, a Jamba misdrops the Z-piece, covers right on top of that hole, and with only three lines of space to work with, he takes his first round. So now, uh, a Jamba looks to be building uh, some very, very ambitious forecasts for T-spins. Goes into a T-spin triple there, gets another one that's a lot of pressure on Zero-T, but it's clean garbage, so if Zero-T can, uh, can get down to his garbage holes fast enough, he can try and turn this around. Meanwhile, Zero T, uh, I mean, Whip Emerald. Oh, fuck, not Whip Emerald! Oh my god, I got the player wrong two times in a row. That is a Jamba! <laughs> Pro commentator, by the way. <laughs> okay. Alright, listen. I'm not getting paid enough to not swear. Dazer, if you don't like my swearing, take me off the mic right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, anyways. <laughs> We've got, uh, uh, we've got a Jamba here, just getting pressured a lot, but he still builds a T-spin single there, and he's trying to get away with it. Looks like he is able to. Zero T is definitely not slacking on the, uh, on the attack, but even then, Zero T is, uh, Zero T's attack is just not enough. He's not even playing badly either, I, I'm not led to believe, at least. But now it looks like they've uh, kind of evened out the boards. Looks like Zero T is in a position to attack a lot more now. And he seems to be doing exactly that. Going for a nice down stack though. Ajamba combos it out and uh, still has some garbage to work with though. He has one of his clean garbage lines covered so hard. So if Zero T can actually uh, attack enough, then this will be the win for him. But meanwhile, Whip Emerald, or no, not Whip Emerald, a Jamba, a Jamba misdrops the eyepiece. I should just like put a tab over their names. I'm, I'm legit just gonna like inspect element of that name so it doesn't trip me out anymore. <laughs> All right, but now with a second round under his name, Zero T is looking for a third here. And a Jamba going for a uh, weird T-spin single there. I don't know why he didn't go for a T-spin double. But even then, it's a Jamba, so he'll probably get away with it. <gasps> Doesn't have an eyepiece, so he's gonna have to cycle towards that. He has his garbage hole covered, but looks to try and combo out of that instead. Zero T wasn't able to put on enough damage to really punish a Jamba. And yeah, it looks like Zero T. Using the power of the bees, down stacks through that, tries to put some more uh, some more pressure onto a Jamba here, but a Jamba is unfazed by any of it. Now, a Jamba has some nice attacks ready, and Zero T is just not getting to that propped T spin double fast enough, and so a Jamba's gonna take the round. Now with only two rounds uh, two rounds left to his win, a Jamba is just. Uh, Ajamba's just kind of cruising this one. He seems to be making, again, still some very greedy plays. Despite Zero T, uh, despite Zero T getting some wins, he's still not quite respecting the damage that Zero T could be putting out. And it looks like that kind of disrespect and that, uh, that cockiness causes him to get spiked out and Zero T takes the next round.
and now a Jamba looks to be trying to downstack through this. Gets a T-spin double and uh, builds up for the Tetris here. Keeps it very nice, gets a T-spin single at the very bottom, donated. And is putting on so much pressure onto Zero T's side. Zero T is struggling, just barely getting through that. Covers up his garbage hole, but it's not long before he can uncover it. And now looking for his eyepiece. Gets, gets two eyepieces, but now he has none for this. So he's going to have to try and use his other pieces to downstack through that. But he does a pretty good job of doing that. Now has a ton of attacks ready. Combos through that nicely too. So now Ajamba's under so much pressure here. But Ajamba getting out of that so quickly. Now putting Zero T under some, uh, some stress. Both of them at not a very comfortable spot on their boards. Zero T looks to be... Uh, attacking a lot better than Ajamba is at this current moment. Going for a T-spin single and a T-spin double there, but Ajamba is still able to get down from there. And he is still able to, uh, to keep his board at a safe place. Meanwhile, Zero-T is still at a, uh, kind of dangerous spot to be in. Especially against a player against, uh, against a player like Ajamba, where, really, spikes come out of nowhere. But Zero T now has some cheese to work with, putting more cheese onto uh, onto Ajamba's board. But Ajamba, despite having cheese, he goes for a T-spin triple, spiking up Zero T. Very good vision from Ajamba, because due to that T-spin triple, he was able to uh, to kind of keep on that pressure and take it to match point now. So if Zero if Zero T uh, if Zero T loses this round, he's down to loser's bracket here. But it looks like Zero-T is still fighting back with everything he has here. Going for a down stack. Tries to up stack up, though. And it looks like he kind of makes some inefficient plays here. Not the most effective down stacks, but it's still doing the job. Just because Ajamba is kind of freezing up, I want to say. he uh, He's hesitating a lot more than he usually would. I'm not sure what that was. But now he's found himself to a nice spot to attack. He's in a he's in a position where attacking is uh very easy for him. But Zero T now, building up two T-spin doubles. He looks to be playing a lot more aggressive. And we'll pro we'll probably see hurry up garbage coming into play soon. Now, a jump at the very top of his board, but opening up that well. Gets the eyepiece, and just barely by the skin of his teeth, gets out of that one. Or does he? No! Zero T is just saying to uh, saying to Ajama that you're not getting away with this anymore. Just trying to uh, trying to send some more attacks. But even then, even with that declaration, Ajama is still able to uh, able to get out of that one. Ajama was actually very good on attacking there, but Ajama was just better on defense. That was an absolutely crazy down stack, and an insane way to end off that set. 10 to 3.